Lowndes County case final election for these cases will be held Tuesday, September the 9th, 2014. Um, agenda item number seven, REZ 2014-15, PP Investments. That would you please present this case. Yes, sir. Uh, the first county case that we have involves a rezoning that was approved back in 2005 by the county commissioners for residential development, R10 zoning, with the condition that basically restricted the development of the subject property to water and sewer. Since that time, the property has changed hands at least twice, if not three times. One of those, we believe, was a foreclosure type of changing. And the developer, the recent developer, property owner, has come and wants to remove that condition so that he is free to develop the property potentially with a community water system and septic tanks, which right now the condition approved on the board that you have a copy of prohibits. Um, there are various reasons for that. I know the developer is in the audience and I anticipate him to come and speak tonight to try to answer any questions you might have. Overall, from a staff standpoint, while we would prefer water and sewer, we just uh, did not believe that forcing the developer to develop this property with water and sewer was appropriate. And thus, we found it consistent with the comprehensive plan and recommended for its approval. Try to address any questions you might have, but ultimately, that's where we settled out. The septic tanks are still an approvable form of treatment in this county. Uh, we have a preference. That preference is not strong enough to render a denial, in our opinion, from staff. So, with that, we do believe it's ready for your consideration. Thank you. Are there any questions for staff on this particular application? I have one question. Do we know how many how many how many septic tanks they're wanting to put in that area? Um, Commissioner, I can tell you the developer probably has a number in his mind. We have a previous site plan from the last case, and I don't believe that they're going to have any lots here that are less than half an acre. So if you take 90 acres, uh, or that are less than half an acre, so you divide out for infrastructure, I'd say you're probably looking at maybe, um, I'm gonna give you a range of about 120 residences. The plan for water and sewer was upwards of maybe 210. So the lots were much smaller. So that density really gets cut because instead of having 10,000 square feet, you're now restricted to about half an acre with the soils, if not more. So I would, I would throw that number out there, but that's just my rough figure term. Roughly 120. Yes, sir. The developer may correct me with some better information, but that's where I, I see a rough figure at. All right. Any other questions for the staff? If not, is there anyone in the audience who would like to speak in favor of this application? Uh, my name is Giovanni Finici, you know, the property. Uh, I would prefer to develop it with water and sewage because obviously I get more lots and it makes it into a more economic development. Problem is that the county has no sewage or water in the area and has no plans to bring water to the sewage. The city has water and sewage, which is down on uh, the new industrial park that they have on South Harrison. Uh, and I've spoken to the city and they would let me utilize their water and sewage with the condition that that property become part of the city whenever they, you know, the, my two, I have two neighbors. If they have any, if those two neighbors ever join the city, then I would be automatically added. The problem with that is this. Say you buy a house, right? And you've got kids. And uh, the kids go into Lance County School, which is like, you know, a couple hundred yards away, middle school, and private schools not very far. And the city finally, you know, my neighbors finally joined the city in three, four, five, six years. All those kids that are going, that are living in that development, will next year will have to go to city school. So when I sell you a house, I can't, you don't know where your child is going to go to school. You don't know if he's going to have to change school in a year, in two years, in three years. I mean, that makes it, you know, to me, it makes it unsellable. And even if you do sell it, people agree that they, they have to do that. It would be just, you know, a total headache. And I feel bad for those people. And that makes it, you know, 
an impossibility. I mean, I live here, I've always lived here, I don't want 210 people chasing me because the kids have to change school. And uh, the city will not take that quota. So my only other option is, instead of developing that property with water and sewage, is to put my own water, you know, a water company, and to uh, put septic tanks. Now, you asked about the size of the lots. What we're going to have to do, if you guys approve it, is I've already been to the health department. And the health department is going to determine, depending on the type of soils, as obviously over 93 acres, you have more than one type of soil, as to the size of the lots. Uh, and they are the ones that are going to tell me, in this area, we're going to pass off an acre lot, in this area, it's going to have to be three quarters of an acre, in this area, it may have to be something else. So they're the, already the ones who are going to determine the size of the lot. So, um, you know, the time, you know, obviously I want to get the smallest lot as I can, and but they are going to be the ultimate decider. Right. Any questions for the speaker? What What is this land zoned as? Did I miss that? R10 at the moment. R10. Yeah, which is 10,000 square feet. That's probably small. You get that. Yeah. Can you give us your address as well for the uh, for the records? Uh, it's uh, 5655 Cypress Lake Trails, Lake Park, Georgia, 31636. Thank you. Any questions? Any other questions? Well, I know we asked uh, questions about the many lots. Mm -hmm. We think you can get in that 92 acres. What's your opinion? If we, with the if we go with uh, uh, sewage, um, I'll be happy if I could get 120. <coughs> it's going to really be three quarters of the property is going to put you real well. And then about maybe say two thirds is going to put you real well. And I've got about a third that's not going to put you real well. We, we did a wetland delineation and we have a few wetlands on it, which obviously you can't develop. I think that you have a community water system. So with a water system and, yeah, with using a water system. You know, if I could get the county to give me sewage, I'd get 210 lots. Right. You know, maybe you could say something to the chairman. <laughs> Who is that? <laughs> that fellow over there. <laughs> All right, thank you. All right. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Is there anyone else in the audience who would like to speak in favor of this request? If not, is there anyone in the audience who would like to speak in opposition to this request? There being none, discussion is now open amongst the commissioners. Commissioner Wells? County have any opposition? No, sir. We had one citizen stop by the office who just wanted to know what was going on with the request. But that's all I have to report from the gentleman who stopped by today on behalf of the adjacent resident. There was one other call. Okay, and one other phone call. Thank okay. you, ma'am. I see it. Thank you, sir. All right. Any other discussion amongst the commissioners? If being none, I will now entertain a motion from the commission. Chairman, I recommend the uh, recommend approval for this as stated by second. All right, so a motion and second. Motion by Mr. Hall, Commissioner Hall, and second by Commissioner Willis. Any discussion on the motion? There being none, all those in favor? Discussion, or are you voting early? I'm voting. Okay. All those in favor of this request, please do so by raising your right hand. Hold them high so I can count. Thank you very much. All those against? All right, the motion passes 6 to uh, 1.